Hey guys, welcome to Punky's World. Okay. We were talking about dodgeball and stuff last time, and... Um... I wanted to talk to you about memories. Um, about my memory box, and what is in this thing. See if I can get down here on the floor. Mm. My knee. Okay. Okay. Now. Stretch my knee out. Okay. This is my trinket box. Uh, if you go back like two years in the videos, you'll find where I bought this. And then I actually had to assemble it. It comes flat, and you assemble it with these little screws. You just hand tighten them. Anyway, the handles are already on. And it does have handles. Um, I call it my trinket box. It's really a memory box. Um, I have... Well, this was an article written about me. <laughs> so, it's actually written in the teacher's, the PTA newsletter. Uh, these are actually from when I did a fashion show at the Auburn Mall. La Femina Modeling School was interested in me, and the mall said, thank you for, partic for your participation in Auburn Mall's Back to School Modeling Auditions. This year's participants were all great, and regret we regret not being able to use each and every one of you in our show. Your involvement greatly enhanced the success of this event, and we look forward to seeing you again at Auburn Mall. The, it's just um, it's September of 1988. What they're talking about is I didn't um, make it to do the TV show, and I would have had I not done something stupid. Um, and they were going to give me... Uh, a break on tuition to their modeling school. Um, this is my letter from Carmen's mother, Nancy Giardello. This is from 1991, August. Um, I love that they're dated. The reason there's so much in here, by the way, baby book. <laughs> baby book. Baby book. <laughs> oh, oh, and baby book. Baby book. Oh, no, that's not from my baby book. Um, I have a ton of cards from my baby book in here. Um, and who but me would have a police report in their baby book. Because I was in the hospital and they were afraid I was going to die. And they wanted my parents to get to the hospital as soon as possible. So. Wow. After. Has bad viral infection. Ugh. Came home on the 27th after surgery. Has bad viral infection. Nature. Bring infant to Boston Children's. So yeah, I have a police report that was literally taped in my baby book. Um... So that's kind of unique. Now I have 
This is a card from when I was, oh my gosh, from when I was born. From Stella Villadu. <laughs> Proud new parents. Love for all moms. The happiest time will be when the baby gives up its 2 a.m. bottle. Oh, proud new parents, this is next to the happiest time of your life. And the happiest. <laughs> Love for all mom. That's from Grammy Wilson when I was born. Um, when my grandmother died yeah because Jay wasn't wasn't born when um, the baby died so this must have been when my grandmother died I wonder why it was in my baby book <laughs> is that not adorable Ella Robert love you uh, I trust Something. She is beautiful. Looks just like the two of you. I give my heartfelt congratulations. The baby grows. It's your family. All together we'll do many things. Aw, thank you, Auntie. You will be proud of and that your girl has parents all oh, the love oh, they will need growing up oh all right see that's beautiful um, that's from when I was born. <laughs> the baby. Oh, okay, this one is this is a birthday card from Mitzi. Uh, Mitzi was my babysitter. She was basically my nanny um, without having a nanny. And uh, wow, that's lots of love, Mitzi. To a dear little girl who's a cute little miss. This brings lots of love with a hug and a kiss. Happy birthday, XO. Especially for you. Probably third, fourth birthday. Um, this is from my cousin Jesse. That's later. I'm just right now looking at my my baby book stuff. Okay, these aren't from my baby book. I know there's more from my baby book in here somewhere, but a lot of the, these are from when mom passed away and from when she was sick. So my mother was the type of person that didn't believe that people actually cared about her, you know? Ah, here's more from my baby book, I think. This box smells like smoke. <laughs> yeah, here's more from my baby book. Okay. Unfortunately, my baby book molded because it got left in a basement. But, um, Merry Christmas. Oh, that's another one. That's a new one. Uh, to a sweet four year old. Go, Billy, Auntie Sue, Bo, and Evan. <laughs> Has tried to write her name so many times. Oh, my goodness. 
A birthday girl as sweet as you makes other people happy, too. That's why you're wished a special day that's extra nice in every way. I love having these. This, I believe, is an, inv yep, it's an invitation to my first birthday party. I mean, my mother kept it. She even filled it out and kept one in my baby book. Here's a first birthday card. I wish you could feel the texture of this card. Like, the fur on the hat right here is rough. I don't know if you can see, but it has, like, shinies on it. Um... And the rest of the card is almost like, it's almost like cloth. There's a little bit of roughness right there where there's a little bit of sparkle. I have lots of fun all year, and there's a one-year-old already. Grammy Wilson. I'm so glad my mother kept this stuff. But look at that. What's this? That's a Mother's Day card my mother kept. That was a card from my dad. That my dad kept. And this is a card my dad kept. Another card my dad kept. Tons of signatures in it. I love looking at these ones that my dad kept because they have a ton of signatures on them. What's this one? Oh. That's a Mother's Day card from forever ago. You know, if my parents kept them, I kept them. These are more cards from sick. That's why I have so much in here. This is my mother's book from her um, celebration of life. It's, it's got signatures, that's for sure. Um... Speaking of my mom, my fourth birthday, and if you look next to her, oh, I've got my fingers over it, but see that hair right there? I think that's my dad, and this is my dad and my grandmother. And he's waving at the person taking the picture. I think it was probably my great aunt. <laughs> I have... Not taking that out. <laughs> Cabbage Patch. Um, the only one that I have the actual birth certificate, you know, adoption certificate from is this one. I didn't mail in the other ones. They're right here. Cabbage Patch and Kusa. The Kusa is the Cabbage Patch pet. 
I'm not taking this out, but this is this was a handmade. This is a birthday card with a handmade um, handkerchief in it that a lady's mother had made years and years before, and she gave it to me. And I cherish it. I, I wouldn't take it out of there. My mother's ID, my father's glasses, my grandfather's glasses, some other various things that were in their wallets <laughs> that I kept in here. My father's last cell phone. Yep, my father was um, old-fashioned. <laughs> this was the handle to my great-grandmother's uh, thing that we had to get rid of. This is my high school graduation with my dad. I mean, I have my dad's checkbook. And I have these little books. Um, let's see what that was. Oh. Sorry, Mr. President. I don't have $20 to give you. So stop asking. Oh. And uh, my... mattress pad completely fell apart. I also have like brochures from places that I've been, you know, the campground in Lake Luzerne. I also put my sister's letter that I wrote for her um, that she doesn't apparently want in here. Um, this, I've, I've never been here, but this is... Um, The Lucy Desi Museum in Jamestown, New York. Maybe I'll get to go there when I'm up there. Um, but this is the campground. This is Ticonderoga. Um, yeah, so I keep all that stuff. And that way, oh, my mother's COVID shot. Um, <laughs> you know, the paperwork on it. This is Maine, just to show. I've been there a million times, but... And lots of cards. I have cards from, uh, flowers. Oh, I kept this because this is from Saratoga. Oh, this is from on the boat at Lake George. So, and I write about this stuff in my diary. This, no, not that. Where is it? Oh, these, when I was sick, a lady had a little thank you card. A friend of ours had everybody at Crossroads write on these. She decorated them with hearts. They're all slightly different. And um, she had everybody write on them, and she pinned them on a teddy bear. I mean, look at the stack. <laughs> if I ever doubt that I was loved, <laughs> I can look at that. Um... Mother's junior college ID from when I was a kid. Her BJ's card. <laughs> wow. Long expired BJ's card, by the way. This is what the hospital used to give you when you would go in. It was either blue or green. The, it was an ID card specifically for the hospital. 
it was either blue or green. It's for the University of Massachusetts. Do, do your hospitals do this? Um. Oh, here's the blue one. Oh, Milford did the blue ones. Okay. <laughs> See, this is, they don't do this anymore, but this is UMass and this is Milford. What is the address on the Milford one? Um, there's no address on this one. It just says, please present this card to identify you. Okay. So yeah, I keep weird things, but I do it because these things are important to me. Now you may have different things that are important to you. bought this box specifically for this. <laughs> um, so I hope you enjoyed kind of... Ah! Sorry. Ah! Wow. Oh. Anyway, um, reminiscing with me. Uh, it looks like I can't tell. Ow, 21 minutes. Ow. The other knee was straight for too long. Okay. Here goes nothing. Oh my god. Uh, oh, I can't believe I did that. Anyway, God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I don't know what the third video is going to be. But I'll come up with something <laughs> as soon as I get my good knee working again. <sighs> that really, really hurt. And all I did was straighten it. That's all I did was straighten it. Holy Mother McCree, as my mother used to say. Oh, ho, ho. I know what I can do for the next video. And I think I will. Bye, guys. God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Please subscribe to both channels and hit those bells. We're trying to get to 200 here and 500 on the other channel. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.